eating, sleeping, meeting, and depending on Krishna. See, this is the Sankirtan movement. So we need to do things together. And uh, coming together means meeting. At the same time, meetings can be a huge waste of time. How many of you have experienced sometimes meetings as a waste of time? Okay, okay. Um, let's start with some uh, Dilbert cartoon. Should I read it for you? Can you read it? This is the top manager. This was a productive four-hour leadership meeting. I would like one of you to type up your notes and send an email to the entire company. No one took notes. I didn't have a pen. Okay, no problem. Does anyone remember what we decided? We agreed to increase uh, something. No, uh, decrease uh, something. Never mind. Let's try it again on Thursday at 8 a.m. When is the next leadership meeting? I should have written that down. <laughs> At this point in the meeting, we'll open a discussion for whether or not we needed to have this meeting. This is a, a, a church board. After Ted closes with prayer, there will be a brief meeting in the parking lot to determine what, if anything, was actually decided in this meeting. Meeting tonight, topic, scheduling another meeting. <laughs> Here are the minutes from our last meeting. Marty wasted 12 minutes. Janice wasted 7 minutes. Carl wasted 27 minutes. Aileen wasted 9 minutes. <laughs> and therefore the saying the, the, that meetings are those things in which minutes are kept and hours are lost. <laughs> so, how would you rate your every, average meeting, 1 to 10? Think a little bit, average. I mean, there may be some very good meetings, some poor, poor meetings. 1 means very bad, total waste of time, feelings are hurt, uh, and so on. 10, very productive very positive, useful. So those of you, average meetings from 8 to 10, raise your hand if your average experience of meeting is 8 to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 to 7. Mm -hmm. mm, 3 and 4. One and two. Oh, okay, that's interesting. Okay, so um, what emotions and thoughts come to you during a bad meeting? Who likes to share quickly? Yes? I want to leave the meeting. You want to leave the meeting? Yeah, what am I doing here? What else? Yes? Waste of time. Yes? You don't want to have another meeting anymore. Enough for this lifetime. Yes? You start doing your emails and checking start your messages. Start doing your email, trying to do something productive. Anything else? Yes? Ah, so you get into the educational mode. Okay. And uh, how many of you have been to a good meeting? Please raise your hand. Huh? In life, in general. A good meeting. Okay. So... What was good about it? In other words, what made it good that you felt, yes, this was a good meeting? Yes, Mike? So there was an agenda that people stuck to, and everybody was well prepared for ah, the meeting. An agenda which was observed, which was uh, obeyed to, and then everybody was focused. Focused, they came well prepared, and it was, they had a good chair. 
Okay, good preparation, they came prepared, and a good chairing, good facilitation. Yes? The chairperson kept control of the meeting uh -huh. and kept things moving properly. Mm -hmm. Control kept things moving. Any other experience you wanted to say? Uh, everybody feels like he was heard. Heard, okay, so there was open communication. Hmm? Yes. Start, started on time, ended on time. Ah, start on time, end on time. Good. Hmm. Yes. The meeting was well informed before. Okay, you were informed before about the meeting and so on. Anything else? Good meeting, what was the experience, what was good about it? Yes? Some clear practical outcomes. Clear practical outcomes, results, decisions, directions. Yes. Yes. Conducive huh? A conducive environment. The place of the meeting, the, um, the facili facilities, if there were snacks, if there were water, if there was air, if there was you know, ventilation, chairs, and so on. What kind of chairs? Yes. Started and finished on time. Started and finished on time, yes. The tasks were clear and everybody felt inspired to do the tasks. Oh, very good. Tasks were clear and everybody felt, yes, I'm going to do this. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, this is basically the essence for this uh, presentation. I tried to instill the essence of so many recommendations and studies and things and basically all of it already came out in your, in your experiences. Huh? So we'll just go through to kind of, uh, what do you call, um, solidify this understanding. Huh? This is a PowerPoint you don't have in your deck. I need to give it also. So, now there are different types of meetings and we should be very clear what kind of meetings we have. And of course some meetings can do both then a function. This is just an overview. There is information sharing meetings. You have something to tell to your team, something to tell to your temple. You bring people together and you present. Some are status update meetings, which include regular team and project meetings. How things are going. Let's keep in touch. Mm. Now, every meeting doesn't have to have a, a fixed time. Some meetings can be five minutes. The thing comes together, five minutes, 11.45 to 11.50, and that's the meeting. Huh? 30 seconds update, and that's it. Everybody's on board, everybody knows, and so on. Decision-making meetings. Sometimes there are decisions to be taken hmm? and should be clear. We are here to take certain decisions. Problem-solving meetings. Innovation meetings, thinking of new idea, uh, idea generating meetings, team building meetings. Sometimes we get together just to strengthen our relation and our uh, working capacity. Training and skill building meetings. We're there to share how to do things better. Board meetings, sometimes by law you have to have meetings. I don't know your incorporations, uh, local or national, but sometimes by law, if you are ISCON somewhere, you have to have, say, at least an annual general meeting. So sometimes it's required, even by law. Hmm. Planning meetings strategic planning meetings, and so on. 